the fact is, is that we know that amyloid is an early seminal event that leads to downstream effects. So it doesn't correlate well with clinical progression, but we clearly think that the production and presence of amyloid drives other changes in the brain, synapse loss, uh, excitotoxicity, inflammation, tau spread, et cetera. So a lot of people have said, let's uh, target ta uh, amyloid because it makes sense to remove. But the first generation, there were two approaches. One is clearance-based approaches. One is uh, production-based approaches. So a production-based approach is uh, secretase inhibitors. They haven't worked. So then the monoclonal, first generation monoclonal antibodies either were targeting the beginning of the amyloid, which is the monomeric, or the end of the amyloid, which was the plaque, and neither of those worked. So the second generation of monoclonal antibodies is looking at the targeting the oligomeric species of amyloid, which is a specific form of amyloid, which appears to be toxic. And the four drugs, uh, the four monoclonal antibodies, Antibodies that are under uh, in development now: aducanumab, lecanemab, venenumab, and gantanerumab, all target that species of of amyloid, and that's why there's an interest because there's clear evidence that removal of that species seems to be removed, driving amyloid levels down and slowing the clinical progression. 